What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we just got the Lexan Novus noise canceling Bluetooth intercom. And we're gonna step inside and throw it on the helmet. And once we got that installed, we're gonna take you guys on a test ride. Let's go. All right, let's crack these babies open. Ta-da. Fancy. Ooh. And this is the two helmet system. I've got to put one on my wife's helmet as well. All right. Accessories. So it's a little clamp style on this one. Comes with a little Allen key and some screws. Clamp it onto the side of your helmet. Has little spacers so you can fit different sizes of helmets. And a little 3M adhesive with a little rubber bumper to help prevent it from slipping off. Now this version, this is the one I'm gonna do. This is the 3M sticky. Stick this on the side of your helmet and you'll be able to slide the comm right on. Charging cord. All right, we got two types. For a modular helmet, you're gonna to wanna to use this boom style. And if you don't have a modular helmet, you'll just run this one and stick it to the front of your helmet. We're gonna use this one. So this, this will stick up towards the uh, front of the helmet and put this wherever you need it, closer to your mouth. Speakers, 3M stickies, sides of the helmet, good to go. Very, very easy looking setup. Now let's get this put on the helmet. All right, now we got the helmet here set up, ready to go. First, get yourself a fancy helmet holder. I'm using a dog bowl with a, tail, a towel on top of it. Then you're gonna wanna pop out all your helmet pads, your cheek pads. And I like to start with putting on the, uh, finding exactly where I wanna put the comms unit. So for me, it's gonna be on the left side of the helmet. I'm going to clean this because I'm using the adhesive mounts. I'm going to clean it with an alcohol pad. Let that dry for a little bit. All right, now that the uh, alcohol is dry, we're going to find a place where this thing sits nice and level. It's about right there. And I'm going to check it out with the calm unit on. Make sure that my flashlight is facing forward. I like that. All right. right there. Perfect. Now I want you to notice that one side is shorter than the other one. The shorter side is gonna go on the comms unit side. Comms unit, shorter side, all right? All right, next you're gonna install the speaker pads. They're just peelable 3M stickies on each side and put these into the ear holes. Short side, in. Long side. 
All right, we got both speakers in. Then right over here, we just put down the uh, 3M Velcro for the boom. We'll stick that one on. Place it where you want to, where it's going to reach your mouth. Um, the Velcro is big enough to where you, ha you can move it to multiple locations if you need to after the install. All right, now we're basically just going to be tucking wires. Oh, easy peasy. All right, disconnects back there. I want this to be nice and tidy. All right, we got the wires all nice and tidied up in here. We got the cheek pad back on. We're just going to clip these pads on. Um, this side, the wires again are already all nice and tidy because you pulled all the slack to the opposite side. So we're going to put that cheek pad on. All right, with the unit powered off, press and hold the power button for five seconds until the LED flashes red and blue in the pairing mode. One hundred percent battery. There we go. All right, now the rest. Since I'm using my phone to videotape, I'll have to come off the uh, video and pair it, and then we'll jam to some music and see what it sounds like. All right, so pairing was a success, so let's play some tunes. All right, I'm about to grab my wife's phone, but I thought there was something wrong with this at first because it was so loud coming out of the helmet. I thought it was still coming out of my phone speaker, so. Let me uh, let me use her phone so I can show you. Babe, what are you doing? Need a light? <laughs> All right, it's a few days later, but thunderstorms were in the area, so we had to wait it out, and that was good because I got to ride the bike to work, and use these comms and get a real ride review for you guys. So we're gonna right now take the bike up into the mountains and uh, we'll talk about the comms. Let's get a cold start. And just like that we're in the mountains now I wanted to take you guys in the mountains just because it's so beautiful out here and so close to the house we're gonna take it nice and slow that way I can capture Mount Tipinogos and uh, you guys can check out the scenery anyways number one this headset has the longest battery out of any headset I've ever tried I've been using this thing for five days on my commute to and from work and I even left the headset on overnight <laughs> it's still at 100%. Number two, easy, uh, sorry, easy to connect with mesh. As soon as my wife and I had these things hooked up to our helmets, all we had to do was push a little green button and boom, this thing was connected. Easy peasy, man. Number three, works with Siri. Now, if you're going on long trips like me, you don't want to fiddle around taking off your gloves or anything like that. Just, hey, Siri play this song or hey Siri give me directions to wherever you know so that is extremely useful in my opinion ah the beauty <laughs> I love living in Utah all right number four clarity for music man this thing is so clear the noise counseling on this thing is incredible I don't know what Lexan did man but keep up the good work and the sound it is so loud like you can turn this thing up way past what you need all right so uh most headsets i'd be on the road and i'd be maxed out volume which you probably shouldn't be but these if you were maxed out volume the environment is way too loud for you to be out there blasting your music man it, turn it up to a comfortable level and if it's if the environment's too loud then it's too loud man nothing's gonna stop that and then clarity with calm so on my last headset unit my comms, every single time my wife's helmet would be open and she would pick up wind, it would dim my music. And I hated that. Um, if she, What would she say? If I breathed, it would dim her music. So I'm a heavy breather. So these comms do not do that. Somehow, Lexan's mastered this thing to where the comms, it's, I don't know. I, I honestly, I don't know the reason for it, but it is 
normal sounded music and normal sounded voice when the comms come through so i think that is super super cool and not annoying like some of the other comms i'm um, nothing against them but i, I just don't like I, I hate when the music's going up and down um zero wind noise yeah well i just talked about that and then the light now some of you guys might think that the light is just kind of i don't know no need for it but if you put down the miles if you're out there going moto camping man this thing is going to be so useful for me you're out there on the two lane and it's super dark out all you got to do is hit that one button and some of you guys are going to say oh well we'll actually hit that one button twice some of you guys are going to say oh but i could just use my phone dude it's just it's so nice not to have to grab your phone off and i don't know if you have um gloves that you could use your phone with but yeah you don't have to fiddle around your phone just leave your phone mounted and charging like mine is now and hit the double button uh the double mesh button bam let there be light and go through your bags get that ibuprofen you know you need because your bag's hurting if you're old like me or you know have it to help you grab your tent and everything out of your bags before you get set up so overall for me i haven't found anything bad to say about it yet i'm super impressed uh, and i'm 100 percent honest, honest with this super impressed with the system um <laughs> my wife and i were riding here just like joking about how great it is that we can just hear so clearly and listen to music don't have to have your voice dimming down i'm sorry your music dimming down when the other person's talking it's just absolutely incredible so shout out to uh Lexit, man you guys did a great job and uh for all you guys out there man if you guys uh have the Lexan system let me know in the uh, comment below or let me know what system you use what you like what you don't like about it all right and i'm gonna continue this ride i got my wife on the back and we're just cruising man we just had a storm roll through so it is probably about 70 75 degrees and chilling but anyways hey i appreciate each and every one of you guys for following along on the channel if you like the video give it a thumbs up and make sure to comment down below and if you want to see more videos like this subscribe well, thanks for watching ATC Jeremy Rides, and we'll catch you on the next one. The awesome dudes at Lexin went out of their way, sent me another comms unit to give away to one of you guys. Now, I'm going to be doing another video, and in that video, I'll post the rules, what you guys need to do to have an entry to win, and it's going to be super fair. I'm going to use a random generator. Um, I'll either do it live or just show you guys the results. This is my first time doing something this big, but um, yeah, man, I'm super excited to give uh, give this to one of you guys, and uh, I, I can't wait for that video to go live. So look out for that video. Should be my next one. It'll say Lexington giveaway.